Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! The following video will contain spoilers for Season 3 of The Flash, particularly involving the bad guy known as, known as Savitar. So, if you don't want anything spoiled or ruined for you, stop watching now. Also, warning, this video will contain language of a frank and explicit nature. Viewer discretion is most definitely advised. For those of you brave enough to stay here, hey guys, what's up? I'm Dave. Darker than Damien, more savage than Vandal, and this <laughs> is the Flash Roast. Now, why am I roasting the Flash? Well, as I've been roasting Arrow, it used to be one of my favorite TV shows, but due to certain choices that were made by the executive producers, the quality of the show has greatly declined, as well as my respect for it. So when I started roasting Arrow, it was in the hopes of pointing out the flaws of the show, and that hopefully the executive producers could listen to the problems, listen to the fans, and fix the flaws. That's all. And now with season three of The Flash going the way it is, I feel a very powerful urge to do the same thing for The Flash. Now, don't get me wrong. The Flash is one of my favorite superheroes of all time and is definitely my favorite superhero TV show to watch every week. It's must-see TV in my house. So I am a fan, and I do love it. Hey, I bought a Jay Garrick replica helmet in the full costume I'm waiting to debut at a convention coming up sometime in the future, so can't tell me I'm not a fan. But I feel a very strong and powerful need to go off on this season's Big Bad. That's right, Savitar. Okay, now, <laughs> we've been following the footsteps of the Flash for a while now. I mean, okay, season one, the big bad was Reverse Flash, the most dangerous man in the banana suit ever. Well, of course, they had to do it black, I'm sorry, they had to do a little black, uh, and black and yellow, you know, because, I don't know, apparently they like, you know, overripe fruit uh, with red lightning, so it's kind of cute. And then we had season two, we had Zoom, which was very, just very frightening. However, he happened to have a costume that looked like a black version of the Flash for Barry Allen, despite the fact that he'd never seen Barry before. Because reasons. It doesn't matter. It was still intimidating as hell. I mean, they had a whole voice synthesizer thing on Reverse Flash. They had Tony Todd as the voice of Zoom. So, apparently they got a combination. Get a badass voice actor and make him the voice of the bad guy and you got a winning combination. They're trying out for third time's a charm here. Of course, the first half of the season, we had Dr. Alchemy. And we had Tobin Bell. Yes, I want to play a game. I want to play Hide the Salami. I, mean, I don't know. It was just, it was kind of fun. And Tobin Bell, one of my favorite actors. I loved the Saw movie series for a while. But then, as things started to progress, during the half, uh, you know, maybe part of season three, we finally get introduced to the guy pulling alchemy strings which was savitar the named after the hindu god of speed now in the comics savitar is dangerous deadly has a cult of followers and you know he actually was uh, able to give wally rest west a run for his money back in the day however <laughs> they decided to go way off fucking kilter on this one okay Remember the first time we saw Savitar? Okay. Suddenly he pops out of the Speed Force and he looks like a goddamn Transformer. What the fuck is this? I mean, seriously. Okay, so when they were talking about the first Speedster, I wasn't expecting him to come from fucking Cybertron. I'm sorry. Was he chasing the lightning in the Speed Force because he thought that was where Energon cubes were made? What the fuck? I'm waiting for Optimus Prime to come into the episode and kick his monkey ass. What the fuck is this? I would love to have known what writer in the writer's room said, Hey, I got an idea. Let's make Savitar a goddamn Michael Bay ripoff. Let's take a Bumblebee suit from Universal Studios, paint him black and blue, put a Power Rangers reverse lightning bolt on his chest, and make that Savitar. Because fucking reasons. Oh, God. It's just been ridiculous. I mean, you know, people are calling him Savitron. It's just 
looking at him, you wonder how the fuck can the first speedster look like he's ready to mobilize the Decepticons. What the fuck is this? I mean, apparently the fastest you know man alive is a toaster. What the fuck are they thinking? I mean, we all thought it. there are so many bad jokes out there. Of course, as the season progressed, we get to find out more about him. Apparently, Savitar has been trapped in the Speed Force. So all those little times he was popping in and disappearing, apparently he was uh, gopher-holing out of the Speed Force. So, so yes, he was essentially doing the same thing as a turd sticking out of your ass and then popping back in. Oh, yeah, that's really great. So if that's the case, and the Philosopher's Stone happens to be the way of him interacting with the world, so he's essentially powered by a cosmic dingleberry. What the fuck? Savitar looks like a Transformer. He's powered by a goddamn cosmic turd? What is this? Who wrote this? Seriously? Oh, fuck. Nah, sure. He's a little on the dangerous side, and, you know, he's all prophetic and shit. One will betray you, one will suffer a fate worse than death, and one will die. And we've been checking out the pieces, trying to figure out who the fuck he is. And it's been interesting. Uh, we find out, you know, that Caitlin's the betrayer, apparently. The one suffering the fate worse than death looks like Wally for running off at the fucking mouth, as well as, you know, putting his foot up his own ass, effectively. Of course... It didn't really help that he's starting to get sucked into a portal into the Speed Force, and Barry's just standing there going, Bleh. I mean, he's just, what the fuck was that, Barry? I mean, you know, the fastest man alive, maybe, but you're not brave enough to reach out and save a brother? What the hell? I mean, this is just, this is horrible. This is about as bad as the CW having, you know, Latino, you know, sidekicks. If they know the secret identity of the, of the good guy, all they got to do is get tortured for a little bit and they'll spill the fucking beans it's just horrible i mean are you that fucking jealous of wally are you did not wanting someone else to take over your fucking show so you take them on? let me tell you this right now savitar is the felicity smoke of the flash and here's why around the mid-season finale we had a moment where the flash took a peek into the future he's been trying to prevent this whole thing where he saw Savitar stabbing Iris and Barry's not fast enough to stop him. Okay, I can live with that. So he's trying to fix things, change the future and whatnot. But I think what's going on is this is just a relationship gone bad. You know how Iris was with Eddie for a while and then finally Eddie had to die and then they worked out a whole season thing. Now she's with Barry. Well, I think something similar is going to happen in here. I think eventually Iris... And Savitar might become a couple. Why am I saying this? It's quite simple. It could have been taken out of context. Barry is simply pissed off that sometime in the near future, Savitar penetrates Iris from behind and breaks her heart. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? No, he literally penetrates her from behind. Yeah, and and her heart can't take it. Now, I know it's kind of ridiculous, and you can't say, what What are you talking about? Broken heart. Well, I'm pretty sure when you stick a giant sharp piece of metal trying to emulate a fucking Wolverine claw through someone's heart, that counts as broken. Uh, it's just, there's so many bad jokes we can make about Savitar. <laughs> but I digress. Now it looks like coming up in a future episode, we're going to have Abracadabra uh, being the one to reveal the true identity of Savitar. Of course, we see a little behind-the-scenes pictures of Gypsy apprehending him, so apparently if Gypsy's going to be involved, this is not going to be Abracadabra from the 64th century in the future, but probably from a hyper-evolved alternate Earth where the technology is equivalent to the 64th century. So that's going to kind of stink. I mean, they're trying to change stuff around. I mean, I still can't get over what they fucking did to the top. Okay, they changed genders, and they made her a watered-down count fucking vertigo. Right. These are the same minds that brought us the Transformers. I'm waiting for fucking Stan Bush to start playing the touch every time I see Savitar come on the fucking screen. 
what is up with you guys? Seriously. But you're still keeping people like myself entertained. We're still wanting to check it out every week. And I don't know. I made a, several videos talking about the possibilities of who Savitar is. I still don't fucking know. But there's a lot of ways that things could go. And we're going to have to find out coming up in the near future. So we'll just have to wait and see. And if Savitar's identity reveal is absolutely stupid, you can bet your ass I'm going to do another roast just putting him completely on blast. So what did you guys think? Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys later doing my regular review of The Flash and an Arrow Roast coming up later this week. Until next time, Dave signing off. Peace.